my dream was to open up a small bookstore uh, because I believe in bookstores. I believe a community is not a community unless it has a bookstore. In the five years since Long Islander Steve Israel retired from Congress, he's had quite a few accomplishments. But what he's most proud of is right here in the heart of Oyster Bay, Long Island. His brand new store, Theodore's Books, opened in November. People have said to me, are you out of your mind? It's so hard to operate any small business especially a bookstore, especially now. I've always believed the biggest risks are, are worth taking. The shop features all the genres you'd find in a typical bookstore, but there's a big focus here on history and politics, Israel's two favorite topics. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution for sale here pay homage to his 16 years in Congress. But it's his love for Theodore Roosevelt, his hero, both in the political and literary worlds, that really makes the store unique. This entire section of books is about Roosevelt's life. I've read every single one of them uh, and so when somebody comes in looking for a book on Roosevelt my job uh, is to talk to them about the book, make recommendations and also see how they feel about those books. This is somebody who not only understood politics he wrote and read voraciously and I wanted to open a bookstore that reflected Theodore Roosevelt because Oyster Bay is where he lived, it's where he died, it's where he wrote. Israel knows it's a huge risk to open a bookstore at a time when small businesses are struggling and when ebooks continue to rise in popularity. But it's loyal customers like Katia Wittun who make it worth the risk. I'm so happy the books are opened. Um, it's such a great addition to the community. I think that uh, in the past few years, one of the silver linings of the COVID is that people uh, have looked inwards their communities to shop local and support the businesses in their community. People should support their local bookstore, number one, because shopping local keeps communities alive. Number two, because in an age when people are so angry at one another and cursing at one another on Twitter and social media, this is a refuge where you can just explore the world in 300, 400 pages. What makes this store so community focused is this section right here. It features a lot of local authors, some published, some self-published. It's Israel's way of giving back to New York, which he says has given him so much for so many decades. In Oyster Bay, Long Island, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.